Hello and welcome back to the CCL Last Chance Qualifier Week 1. I'm Rome DMV, joined alongside the wonderful Spider Tip, and we just got to witness an incredible matchup where you Buffalo was able to come out on top of Sacred Heart Esports in incredible 3-1 fashion, but now we've got to be moving on in our night. Not only that, we're going to be moving on to a Round 2 matchup where guess what? You're only going to need to win this matchup and one more future matchup in order to place yourselves out of the last chance qualifier. And that's exactly what everyone's looking to do. They're looking to get out of this one unscathed. I mean, Spider Tiff, talk to me. How are we feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like this is going to be a bloodbath of a match. We've got FSC Esports taking on Ferris State Esports. And let's go ahead and get a glimpse of that head-to-head -head right now to really chat about this because... To be fair, we've got a Tier 2 FSC Esports taking on the Tier 3 Ferris State Esports, and one of these teams is going to have to go home. But let's take a look at the Rams right now. They are 12-8 and eight on the season record, 5-6 for Stage 2. But then you've got Ferris State's Esports over there, 6-14 and 14 for the season, 3-8 and eight for Stage 2. So it's already looking like Farmingdale State College might have the advantage here. Yeah, I mean, looking at it on paper, I am trying to find a way to say that Ferris State might be able to come out on top, but overall, I just don't see it. Like, looking at it on paper, like, I'm sorry, but Ferris State, you're going to need to show me something. I mean, this is the last chance qualifier. This is your last chance. You got to make something happen right here, right now. But as you stated, I mean, Farmingdale State, they are looking absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Farmingdale State roster, the home roster for tonight, if you will. I mean, this squad going to be coming in with Spades, Colorblind, Hades, and Gast. And, I mean, we stayed at this squad. I mean, listen, they're coming into this matchup feeling like the favorites, knowing that, but they cannot get too ahead of themselves. I feel like that's where some teams can make mistakes. So I love that you bring that up, is if you get ahead of yourself, if you overextend, if you come in overly confident, you could just get bit basically by ferris state now let's go ahead and take a look at ferris state esports and see who their lineup for the evening is going to be because this is where it all comes down we've got karaka mc50 nikki west and otto and all i can think about when i see otto is i just think of rocket power from back in the day so i'm, I'm looking at you otto to do something crazy for me maybe pull out some tricks let's lay it all down for the bulldogs and see what we can do today night yeah, i'm ready to see whose auto got some rocket power in them tonight i mean listen both of these rosters are going to be looking to make some waves happen i mean ferris state they're going to need to make some miracles happen and it, it, at least in my book i mean the way that i'm looking at it right now ferris state this is this is a big uphill battle for them for sure and i want to see them climb it because that's what these situations are all about in the ccl you get to points like this you say you know what we've learned a lot yes we have taken quite a few losses but guess what all those losses can be lessons and taking those lessons and turning them into new possibilities that's what fair state is going to need to do right here right now so let's go ahead and take a look at the maps to see exactly what their road is going to be to turning this one around all right, as we shake things up, we're going to get a little dose of Berlin hardpoint, similar to what we saw in our first matchup of the day. However, that search and destroy is going to be different as we move on to Tuscan. Then for search control, we've got some nice Gavutu. And should we need that map four and five, we're looking at hardpoint Tuscan and search and destroy on Berlin. So where we start, we will eventually finish. And we haven't gotten a map five yet today. And I would love to see this one go the distance. But should it be that way, whoever wins this map series here for the last chance qualifier is going to move on to face St. Clair Saints. And mm. whoever wins out of that map is essentially going to advance to the playoffs. So you're right. Both of these teams do have that inevitable uphill battle. They have already faced St. Clair Saints with both teams falling to St. Clair Saints. So now is the time to, you know, VOD review after you come out of this map and see what you can do when you go in 
for your rematch. Listen, this is one thing is you said it. This St. Clair Saints roster that is going to be waiting for whoever does win this matchup right here. They are not messing around whatsoever. Let me just tell you, St. Clair Saint, they take pride in their school. They take pride in their esports. I've had the pleasure of casting their squad in Rocket League, and they are a problem in Rocket League. And they're actually going to be making their way to CRL World. So, I mean, hey, listen, high aspirations in Rocket League, high aspirations in the CCL. Let's see if they're going to be able to do that yet again. I mean, listen, they're going to need to see who they're going to be facing between Farmingdale and Ferris State. I mean, I don't know who's going to be able to make it there right now. All my chips are on the side of Farmingdale, but it's up to Ferris to really spin that wheel and turn the tides and switch things up. I mean, let's see what Farmingdale can do. It is an all-out bloodbath trying to get into the office. As we see these first set of rotations, we've seen so many different things happen, but Farmingdale coming in like a wrecking ball, but it is Otto who has got the power. Whew. Great stuff for sure is right now Fair State able to answer back in nice fashion, clearing them out. But guess what? Hades is going to be coming from down under right now, trying to make something happen, be able to break this hold that right now Fair State do currently have on this point. Just like that. I mean, they're able to break in, but currently the pace is currently pretty slow coming out of both of these play both of these teams. Is guess what? That early rotation is going to be coming through, and this one is going to be massive. Yeah, that early rotation is looking to be strong. You've got a player from Ferris State over there scrapping up as much, get a little bit of time as he can get left, approximately 10 seconds. Going to go ahead and abandon that and make that full-on rotation. Looks like they're going to go ahead on the Farmingdale side and get that early rotation, try to get as many points as they can as possible, want to tie it up, but it's pretty split heavily down the middle. And I mean, right now, just a great job overall of Ferris State of hanging in this one. I will say that, but... Guess what? It is going to be Farmingdale. We're doing a nice job locking down the street. Ooh, man. Scaraka is able to take out Colorblind. Now it's all going to be all up to spades. Just lock this one down. That one's going to be contested. But Mc50 is going to be coming in, breaking this mold, trying to take out Goat in the side. Gast in the side, excuse me. I mean, right now, Mc50 doing a great job of locking down this mailroom. Finally is going to be dropping, so... I mean, Ferris State, they are answering back nicely as they currently have the advantage heading into P3. Heading into P3, indeed. You've got MiG-50 going and locked down for the spawns already. They began that early rotation, and they are going to get the spawns. But will it be enough? We've seen teams make that early rotation and set up for spawns and then lose it on the first break as Colorblind comes in with a nice two-piece. I mean, what can you do when you've got people pop it off like that? I mean, really, all you can do is just sit back and enjoy the show yourself and get back into it as soon as possible. But, whew, I mean, either way, I mean, right now, these squads are just fighting it out for these spawns. You can see in the very back, it's still going to be Fair State that are going to be controlling the spawns. But guess what? Farmingdale are the ones that are controlling the point, and that's even more important because now coming in is going to be Fair State. But they, guess what? They're going to be walking straight into the reticles of this Farmingdale roster who are going to be able to lock down a ton of time. Look at the spawns. Fair State are still spawning at old. Oh, my goodness. This is extremely unfortunate. They get completely wiped. All four of Fair State are going to be dropping. That means they're going to be losing old. They're going to be losing rotations to new. As guess what? This train station already going to be completely locked down by Farmingdale. Look, I'm sorry, but Farmingdale just turned that into a massive money hill. Even though Ferris State was like, oh no, we got spawns, don't you worry. But now Farmingdale, they've got the train yard, they've got the spawns, and there is nothing that the Bulldogs can do when they're trying to overtake from the break. The Rams are just hitting them head on, which is what they do. Yeah, I mean, just doing a great job yet again, over and over repeatedly, this roster so far. In this map, have just done an absolutely incredible job of hanging on every single hill, getting a crucial amount of time each and every time. And now Gas, just trying to build on these current kill streaks that he's trying to obtain about halfway there right now, but he's going to be getting a great deal amount of time on this hill right here, right now. As this is going to be this squad in Farmingdale doubling their lead over Fair State.
Yeah, Farming Guild did a really nice job stringing those two hills together. They're going to go ahead and abandon it and work towards that destroyed hallway where Ferris State has already made the early rotation on Spades, coming in from behind to get a little kill right there, see if they can clear it out. We do know that the Rams are great at hitting things head on, but MiG-50, when they're living on the hill, they do a really nice job of preventing anyone from coming onto it. But hey, Spades bringing out the Glide Bomb right now. Going to do a nice job at preventing people from staying in that space. But here we go. And here we go yet again. As a squad, Farmingdale able to pick off two, getting good time once again on this hill. Mc50 gonna be trying to figure a way out to break into this one, but I mean, gonna need his team in order to in order to do that. And I mean, Farmingdale, they're doing a great job of getting a ton of hill time right now. As I mean, this last 15 seconds, it's gonna be contested. Mc50 is gonna be trying to pick off anyone that's trying to get it. And he's going to be saying, you know what? Guess what? I'll go ahead and get it myself. Oh, man. But that's going to be Spades winning the big 1v1. Picking up that scrap time on old. Now, here we go. Because guess what? It's going to be Ferris State that currently have the spawns for this new P1 rotation. Yeah, there were a lot of early battles there in out, but Ferris State did win that, but doesn't matter because Rams are going to get the break and they are going to own this. We've seen what happens when Ferris State has the spawns, and unfortunately, the Rams do such a good job at holding Ferris State outside the hill with Colorblind picking up a nice two-piece. Yeah, that's the thing, is that uh, this Farmingdale roster are currently up by about 85. Like, they are literally doing whatever they want on the map right now. They are winning these rotations they're pushing things out they're saying you know what we're not even worried about having the spawns having these rotations we're just going to slay you out and be straight up better than you when you know on these hills that's literally how it seems like they're playing it right now but i mean now the squad they're going to be rotating early to this to this mail room they're going to be sending a couple players early so farmingdale right now they're setting up nicely to be able to get an even bigger advantage let's see what fair state are going to be able to answer Ferris State is going to have to answer, and they're going to have to answer soon because there's only so much you can do when the players on the Rams are just completely out fragging you. You have Nikki West on Ferris State going 5-23 and 23 currently, not too much hill time to speak for, and then you've got Spades on the Rams just winning all of those mid-map kills, winning so much time here in the mailroom completely uncontested. Yeah, I mean, right now, this is honestly the Spades and Colorblind show. Is Colorblind almost able to get fully streaked out? Still able to pick up one in his back pocket. And, I mean, Hades looking to build on some of his own right now. I mean, this roster, they've already acquired a 125-point advantage. I mean, Farmingdale, we said that it looked like on paper they were the better team. And right now, they are showing us exactly that. They are just proving to be so detrimental this is not what you want to see i feel like when you kind of go up 130 points in a hard point you are like i've got this you are just doing you're so confident in everything that you're doing that this is almost over when you can potentially win on this map but ferris state goes in with a nice break can they hold this and right here right now i mean the squad is going to need to hold every single second Simply because, I mean, right now, this Farmingdale roster, they're just too close to victory for Fair State to feel safe about giving over any scrap time whatsoever. So we're going to need to see some heroics out of this squad if they want to stay in this one. Because right now, Mc50 doing a great job for Fair State, just locking down these back spawns. But guess what? You're going to need to get into the hill because guess what? Farmingdale, they're pushing in and pressing the issue very, very quickly as Spades is able to pick up another one inside. Looking on the backside, if he can pick up this kill onto Nikki West, this is going to be absolutely huge. But only eight seconds remaining as the rotations are heading over to the train yard in Farmingdale. They are completely set up for it. Yeah, because, I mean, they don't—they can't win on that hill anyway, so why not take that rotation and set up for train yard? You only need 35 seconds here to take the victory here on this Berlin hardpoint, and they're making it such a tough time. Sure, Ferris State has the spawns, but it doesn't matter if you don't win the fights. A little bit of trades coming out. They're making their move a little bit closer to the hill, and they pick up a nice kill on player number five to go ahead and get that break to happen. Can players number six and seven for Farmingdale make the move and get on there ferris state has finally woken up but it just might be too late yeah i mean it seems like we're seeing this yet again i mean squads they go down by so much and then all of a sudden they show some fight but it's just too little too late and now farmingdale i mean they can win it right here ladies and gentlemen if they play their cards right 
This roster in Ferris State, they're going to need to contest this entire time. Because finally, we are going to guarantee ourselves another hill. But, I mean, this final P5, this might be it for this Ferris State roster. Yeah, we're looking specifically towards that rotation. And once again, Farmingdale making the early rotation over to destroyed halls with the reinforcements from Ferris State coming in. But there's only 11 seconds remaining for a victory on the Ram side. And this is all Rams all day. Big time. I mean, they are able to get the big wipe. You can see the spawns are coming in, but they are not going to be close enough to do anything about it. And that's going to be Farmingdale with a massive, massive game one victory. As that is a 105 point win. Whew. Farmingdale out here farming. Let's get this nice best play out of Otto, showing us the power that he's got as he just turns around and picks off Gast right there at the end. Whew. I mean, that looked sick. I just feel as if some of these players going up in that first hard point, it takes them a little bit longer to warm up where you need to come out hot and heavy and be able to start off strong. You don't want to be 100 points down in a hard point trying to make the plays that you know you can make, but you just need to start up a little bit early. I mean, it's really hard. Let's look at the stats here. We got Ferris State Esports. You've got Karaka and Otto did really well, both having 18 non-traded kills. You've got Farmingdale over there with the likes of Spades and Colorblind that were just completely fragging out. I mean, at least Nikki came back to get a lot of hill time, about a minute and 20, so that's where things started to really turn around for Ferris State, but it just wasn't early enough. Yeah, I mean, listen, that hill time from Nikki, that's all fine and dandy, but at the end of the day, you're going to need to shoot back a little bit more than that. Six and 30 is just not going to cut it from Nikki West. I mean, this squad is going to need to turn things around big time. And I mean, the search and destroy is a no better way, no better place to do it than the search and destroy. So, I mean, heading into this map number two, will Ferris State be able to turn things around? I don't really know. Honestly, the way that this Farmingdale roster are looking right now, they are coming in hot. They are looking like they are ready, honestly, for the St. Clair Saints and in the next round. Yeah, and I mean, I'm looking at the, everything right now. Farmingdale, they were 17 and 12 on hard point alone, where Ferris State was, you know, 4 and 19. So when you break it down for the season win losses on Search and Destroy, Farmingdale's 11 and 8. Ferris State, 6 and 13. So on paper, once again, this is looking to be Farmingdale and Farmingdale only. Yeah, it is unfortunate if you are a Ferris State fan, but at the end of the day, somebody's got to go home and somebody's got to stay. There can only be one that remains. And guess what? I mean, the winner right here, yes, you do have one more match after this uh, to really secure your slot and secure your spot for this season. And I mean, that's what all these teams are going to be looking to do. But Ferris State right now, it is, I don't know, man. It is looking very, very interesting right now because uh, Ferris State, I want to give some words of wisdom to them. Let's go ahead and send it over to the maps. Maybe the maybe the maps will show a little bit a little bit of hope for them. Let me know. I mean, I'm curious to hear what these words of wisdom are. I I did manifest a lot during our first match of the night, but you know, maybe maybe words of wisdom from Rome could really turn things around. But here we are. We've got the maps over here. We got 250 to 145 that happened on that Berlin hard point where we just saw the Rams be completely victorious. We're going to make our way over to Tuscan where these Two teams are going to frag out and some search and destroy and see who is going to come out on top if this is anything like our first matchup of the night where we saw our losers from the first round of hardpoint make a strong answer back in search and destroy. So I'm looking at you, Bulldogs. If you want to turn it around, here's a nice place to do it on Tuscan. Big time. I mean, they're going to need to come out hot. They do not want to go down early to this Farmingdale roster. Tuscan is definitely one of those search and destroy maps that are very, very momentum based you know you start to get a couple rounds and you know you could be looking back and you're down four to one or situations like that and i mean things can get out of hand on this map very very quickly so you know i want to see if uh, if they're going to be able to keep this farmingdale roster tamed if you will because the bulldogs right now i don't know man they're going to need to fight back they're going to need to figure out exactly what to do but hey listen while we get these players in the lobby and everything situated let's go ahead and send it to a short break when we get back we'll be heading right into the action so don't go anywhere we'll be right back We are back, jumping right into the action. As promised, I am no liar. Getting right into the action right here as it is going to be Farmingdale on the defensive side. Fair State on the offensive, going to need to make something happen. And right now, 
the way they are set up, they are playing for a pick 100%. Yeah, this is definitely a stalemate. You've got Mick 50 down the middle looking for some information. Can he get a nice shot on player number five, maybe six? Shots are going to go out. Unfortunately, no connects, but they do have some information on where the players are outlined, but no movement just yet. Yeah, you I mean you would talk about a slow round. This is probably the slowest type of round you'll ever see on Tuscan. Finally, Spades is going to be dropping Karaka, and Otto is going to be short to follow, and Gast able to pick up two now, and Nikki West going to be the last one remaining, and Nikki's at the back of the map, finally able to pick up one, but how much longer is little, little Nikki going to be able to stay alive? I mean, he might be rocking and rolling throughout the lower side of this map, looking for some information, but Bomb is down mid-map, and look at Hades right now. We do know that Hades could be the catalyst to little Nikki, and it plays out as such. Yeah, Farmingdale picking up another quick round right here. And, I mean, I don't know. That momentum has not let up whatsoever. You saw the defense. It was holding like a solid line. They were waiting for Ferris to make their move. And finally, Ferris State did. Guess what? I mean, they pounced and ate their food, if you will. So now, Farmingdale on the offensive. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, I'm curious if they're going to go slow like Ferris State did, but I have a, an idea that these people are going to be incredibly aggressive as it looks to be an A-push. The sniper comes out from the likes of Colorblind and it connects. Goodbye, Mick50. We are going to A. Yeah, and I got to be honest, right now, Farmingdale, they are just showing the levels overall. Karaka is going to need to go huge right here. Can he get one off the bomb? Yes, but does get traded out, leaving Otto in the 1v3. This bomb is going to start to go down yet again. And now Otto, I mean, really going to be checking all the corners for sure. He's going to be able to pick up one. He's going to be walking directly into his reticle. And now these players are going to understand exactly where Otto is going to be at. So Otto is going to be trying to guess where these players are going to be coming from, but... That is going to be much easier said than done as Hades does spot him. So he's going to go ahead and dip and dodge out of there. As he says, you know what? My teammate got him. That's the easy call out. And now Otto's got to figure out a way to defuse this bomb, kill a couple of players. And he's going to say, you know what? Let me go ahead and hop right on it. But guess what? That is not going to work out as Farmingdale are going to go up 2-0 in solid fashion. Look, they are pulling the rounds together right now as Hades finds a nice clean shot on Otto. I feel like that area to defuse is so, so hard because all you need is Farmingdale to have two people in the mid, one person push up because it's a 1v2 situation and it is all Rams all day. This is looking to be really detrimental for Ferris State. Do not let this go up any further in order to at least be able to string a couple of rounds together. You got Nikki. He's got the bomb. This looks a lot different. It is not slow like it was, and we may see our first B push of the day. Yeah, but I'm going to be honest. I don't know if a B push right here when you're down 0-2 and don't have any of the momentum, if that's really going to be the best play because, look, they haven't really burst through the doors and made their play happen yet, and honestly, Hades is waiting back there. He is just waiting for these players to absolutely come through, and, I mean, it's really going to be Hades versus the world. I mean, they say... The world is the devil's playground, but right now Hades is going to need to absolutely take on all the world right now as they're going to be bursting through the doors, coming to the back. Here we go. Hades going to need to fend them off, but no, he's going to be dropping as the world going to be a little bit too much to handle. And this bomb is going to be going down at B. Yes, it will. And here we go. Some early kills going to be coming out, though. Two players are going to be dropping on the side of Ferris. Make that three. And now the last one alive is going to be Karaka. My goodness, that fell apart. It completely fell apart. They had everything to go for them when they got that kill on Hades, but unfortunately, once the call came out that it was an aggressive B push, let's see this kill on Spades right here for the final kill in church. You had Colorblind in the back of spawn on that tanks with the sniper watching over B site. So as soon as Hades gave the call, you saw Colorblind take one pick with the sniper and it was just game over for them. Yeah, GG's, and now only three rounds away from being GG's in this map here and now. I mean, I don't even know. Farmingdale are just looking. Oh, man, Karaka was able to win that one. Oh, I thought face. Colorblind was able to win that one. I'm not going to lie. He lined it up perfect. Bro, my face. I just literally made the most troll face ever. I was not expecting Karaka to also pull out the sniper to chow Colorblind. And in the end, 
Karaka, my man, that was such a sick shot. No real advancements necessary, but Otto putting the power into work as he is using that Volk to come through on the flank. Hades finds a nice kill on Nikki, but I'm curious if Otto's just going to sit there or if he's going to push out and go in. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a big play coming out. Otto's able to pick off one, not able to take out the bomb carrier, though. And now, I mean, that was a big pick, but this is the thing is it's going to put these players for Farmingdale on alert. And they're going to be taking this one right over to B, setting up, and they're going to be getting this bomb down. 25 seconds remaining. They're going to be set up nicely. Is Karaka, is he going to be able to pick him? Oh, my goodness. You got to be able to pick one off of the bomb. Now he's going to pull out the sniper. Trying to line it up. Is going to be able to. That's going to be a huge pick. And now it's going to be all up to Hades in the back yet again. Going to need to take a situation and make it better. Is able to pick off one off the bomb. He spotted the second already. And now it's just going to be all about mind games as Hades is able to spot him. So guess what? You run that way, I'll run this way. I'll do a loop. You do a loop. That basic search and destroy. He's going to wait right here. Check the bomb. He's not on it. Cool. I'll wait a few more seconds. Hard aim up here. Wait for you to drop down. Let me go ahead back. Check it one more time. Basic search and destroy. Here we go. Shoot him off the bomb. GG's one, two, three. Great plays coming out of Farmingdale Esports. You're like textbook, textbook, textbook. You do a loop, I do a loop, and look at Hades just getting that nice clean shot there on Otto. Farmingdale stringing three rounds together here on the Search and Destroy in Tuscan. Once you go up 3-0, things start to look a little weird, but when you hit 4-0... This is make or break because when you have to reverse sweep from this moment on, Ferris State Esports has to perform beautifully perfect Call of Duty from here on out. Yeah, and right now all we're seeing is perfect Call of Duty coming out of this Farmingdale squad as they're going to be able to pick up first blood yet again. Can they make it second blood? Oh, man, Hades tried to make the play happen, getting the stun out, but guess what? That's not going to happen is... I mean, now they're still going to have the advantage, though, regardless, as Otto and Karaka are going to be the last ones remaining for this Fair State roster. And they are completely spread out as Karaka said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get the bomb down. Is, I mean, Otto going to need to make some plays. Otto is in a great position right now to make something happen for this Fair State roster. Going to need to win his 1v whenever that does come. Yeah, that was a really strong choice by Karaka to go ahead and get the bomb down because now the time is ticking. There's 25 seconds left. They are outnumbered, but as long as you play this properly, Spades picks up a kill on Otto, which I needed them to win. And there you go. Gas finds Karaka. That's going to be all they wrote. Farmingdale. Farmingdale going up 5-0 in the Search and Destroy series. This is no bueno if you are Ferris State Esports. Yeah, Ferris are struggling to say the least right now. I mean, we said that things might be able to change in the Search and Destroy, but the only thing that changed is the fact that there's zero points so far heading over toward the side of Ferris State. At least in the hard point, they were able to get something on the board. But right now, laying a goose egg over there, especially McFifty, the furthest from 50 on his team. Yeah, we definitely have a nice little donut on the board so far. So I'm hoping they can at least put one round on. But you've got Farmingdale being crazy and Karaka and Colorblind having an absolute snipe off right now. I mean, listen, we love ourselves a good snipe off. Oh, man. Oh, no. Wait a second. Okay, Hades turned into Mike Tyson. That is some devilish actions on the map right now, but Hades currently sitting at eight and two, doing a great job getting that first blood yet again. This bomb is going to go down, and I mean, now they've got eyes on another player. That's going to be three drop, and only one remaining is Karaka in the one before. I got to be honest, Farmingdale, this was a clapping, if you will. A clapping, bro. You've got Karaka, a pistol and a sniper, trying to overtake Farmingdale in a 1v4 situation. And there is just nothing that they are going to be able to do. Spades was holding that line of sight in the back, just waiting, waiting for that player to come around. And that is going to be all they wrote. Farmingdale State College going up 6-0 in the search and destroy as you have a nice view of Spades getting that last kill. Absolutely beautiful. But... For the Surge and Destroy, it was all Hades on Farmingdale's side. That nice 9-2 and two and Gast 7-2. and two. Yeah, I mean, you know, for, four first bloods coming out for Hades and Spades. I mean, that's uh, that's just insane. Like, that, that is honestly 
insane numbers. And that, I mean, anytime you're able to get first bloods at that rate, I mean, it is just going to be an absolute victory shower for you and your roster. So shout out to Farmingdale being able to go up 2-0 in this series, trying to make swift work of Ferris State. And I mean, we're going to need to see something right here, right now, out of this Ferris State roster heading into this control on Gavutu. Because, I mean, listen, it is now or never. Their back's against the wall more than they have been all season long. It's time to show what you're made of. Show what you're made of indeed. The reverse sweep is needing to have happened. But we knew when we were looking at the head-to-head -head on these two teams that something was going to need to be done. We knew Ferris State Esports was going to be the underdog coming into this situation. But right now, Farmingdale State College is doing the absolute most. And they are just showing why they want to advance in the last chance qualifiers to get that coveted rematch against the St. Clair Saints. Yeah, big time. And I know the St. Clair Saints are sitting here looking like, you know what? I'm not even worried about who who wins this series. You know why? Because guess what? We already took both of them down. So St. Clair, they're going to be feeling real, real good watching this match. They're saying, you know what, Farmingdale? Yeah, you look good. But guess what? You already lost to us. So guess what? We're going to go ahead and try to sit you back down again. But I will say, if Farmingdale can come out and get a solid 3-0 victory, that is going to be a very big momentum boost for this roster going into that rematch. I mean, yeah, they're coming off a 3-0 last week as well. So why not come into last chance qualifiers week one, day two, and get yourself a nice 3-0 as well. Once you go 6-0 on search and destroy, that confidence has got to be brimming. I want to go ahead. Are the maps ready right now? Because I want to take a nice little look at what we are going into, what has already happened. We know we are moving into that Gavutu control where we need to see Ferris State Esports make some sort of a comeback. But right now, Hardpoint Berlin, map number one, 250-145 in favor of the Rams. We just saw that beautiful 6-0 victory on that Tuscan search and destroy. So what are you going to do, Bulldogs? We are looking at you. It is going to be the beaches of Gavutu. Yeah, they're going to need to figure something out quickly. I mean, I don't really know because this is the thing is Gavutu control is one of those maps where if you have the momentum going into it, sometimes mm -hmm. you can get these offensive rounds, uh, you know, when really it seems like you might maybe shouldn't have been able to simply because you could just play off the momentum, play for kills overall. And, you know, we've seen teams find success on the offensive side more and more as, as we get, you know, deeper and deeper into Vanguard. And I got to be honest, I, I don't think this is going to be going well for the side of Ferris State. Right now, Farmingdale have all the momentum in their pockets. And, I mean, they're getting ready to absolutely pull it out their pockets and throw it around the room because, I mean, this momentum, it is an absolute locomotive right now. And I don't know who's stopping it. I mean, there's definitely an absolute train that is coming, and it has not left the station. It is full force heading to that round three of the last chance qualifiers, and I'm pretty sure Farmingdale State Esports is on it. As we get this beautiful cinematic of Gavutu, we know the chaos is about to ensue, but when you are going up against a really well-oiled machine of a team between gas spades, colorblind and Hades this team knows what they want they are on the offensive right now if they pull off a first round offensive win this just sets the tone oh big time and that's exactly what they're going to be looking to do they said okay offense that is cool let's go ahead and show them what they're made of or what we're made of and what they're made of is I mean they're trying to say listen we're made of something a little bit better than your composition currently I mean right now fair state already dropping early in the kill side of things currently down by four off the break yeah we got almost two ticks of progress over at a as you've got haiti securing the ship right now but i mean ferris state esports they're spawning pretty close to a this should be the one that they should have no problem kind of defending but unfortunately when you've got players in the form of gas coming through and just annihilating any push that ferris state esports is able to do and then you look at colorblind he's over on b trying to get a tick of progress started while they just captured a yeah, I mean, just another situation where you're looking at where, uh, I mean, this roster, uh, just absolute perfection coming out right now. I don't even know what else to say. Right now, Farmingdale are just absolutely putting on a clinic right now. Already getting that ticket progression. They're setting themselves up nicely. You look at the kill feed as well. I mean, they're up by eight. 
Hades right now is going to be a thorn in the side in the back. Oh, but that's a big win by Otto. That was a big win by Otto, but unfortunately, Farmingdale able to get through over by that anti-air gun and just make their way straight on to B while they were watching the lower side of the map. You've got Ferris State Esports trying to push through the mid and not able to even secure the flank. We're going to take all four of them respawning in. Two ticks of progress the Rams have over at B. They need to go ahead and get a full nice team wipe and be able to reset and hold some kind of mid-map control, but it's just not there. Yeah, I mean, right now they're looking at a nine kill deficit, a minute 45 remaining. I mean, this is just going to be a TDM match right now for Farmingdale. Is, like I said, they're going to be able to play their lives, and this is what I was scared of. That momentum is carrying over in drastic, drastic ways, and Ferris State now only with six lives remaining. You can see right now, Colorblind is trying to move in. I mean, they are going to be absolutely, absolutely choking out this roster, if you will slowly squeezing the life out of them bit by bit kill by kill stun by stun nade by nade progression point by progression point i mean i don't know this squad right now in farmingdale are absolutely incredible yeah, fair state no respawns remaining three of them are left so you're looking at a 3v13 situation and the rams are just overtaking it is karaka the last man standing in the mid map but this should be flipped karaka should be holding the b zone and he's looking like he's on the offensive team that is not where you want to have happen you know you got farmingdale state college making this look easy nice shot whoa look at the distance on that mp40 honestly so insane but you're right the momentum coming in strong and when you win your first round and it's an offensive round you basically just made a massive statement yeah i mean big time i mean looking at looking at this one i mean honestly right now this fair state roster they are going to need to come up with something fast and in a fury because farmingdale they are not stopping whatsoever i mean listen right now them coming out with a b hit this is this is in my opinion the game right here if this doesn't work and they waste their time going to b then i mean i don't see a way that they're going to be winning this one they're just going to be not giving themselves enough time at b later when they finally do take it so let's see if otto is going to be able to make something happen here as he is able to slip on by now they have a couple of players that did make it onto this b point or are they going to be able to get this full ticket progression let's find out uh, looking like they're not going to be able to get it if you got reinforcements from the Rams coming over to the B site. But now Ferris State Esports trying to make that push over to A and going to get cut down. So you've got player in the form of Hades trying to overextend themselves, but it's just not going to be enough. So what can you do? What are you going to do? You get cut down on all sides. No, no real coordinated pushes are happening here, but it looks like they are finally all fledged onto the ship right now with Hades trying to make something happen. He's going to get punched out by Otto. Yeah, right now for Fair State, it's coordination, schmordination. They don't need any of that. We just run at them and hope for the best. But guess what? Farmingdale are making them pay for it because they are the more tactical squad. They've got the angles. They've got the communication. You can tell it's clicking. They've got the advantage yet again as it is a seven-kill advantage already coming out. But listen, this squad in Fair State, they've only got 24 seconds left to capture this A point. And I'm going to be honest. Farmingdale doesn't look like they're going to be giving them any ticks of progression. If they, they don't get any... That is going to be so unfortunate. They're not going to get any. They look, they might not. They got 10 lives remaining. So there's a 10 kill deficit, 16 seconds left on the clock. Just stops barely as they're going to hop on that ship. Farmingdale says, all right, bet. We're going to come at you from all angles as Otto is able to get a kill. But the kill feed is still going to be all Rams as MiG-50 trying to make a life happen. They do get one tick of progress, but they only have five lives remaining and 10 seconds. And I just don't think it's going to be enough, Rome. Yeah, exactly. They're going to need to split the map and pretty much not die again. And we know that that is not going to be the case. Look at the kills. 15 remaining to two remaining lives. My goodness, Farmingdale are absolutely farming. And uh, I, I don't even know what to say. Ferris State falling apart before our eyes in the last chance qualifier. Yeah, I don't know if they're necessarily falling apart. I, I mean, let's see what Colorblind's got to offer this final kill right here on Karaka. Karaka back.
bounce it around all over, but not going to be enough because Colorblind is still going to get that. Regardless, I just think that maybe they were outmatched here. But this is a great learning experience, right? You play against Farmingdale. Maybe you don't win, but you can really take this out and learn from it and come back you know, maybe your next season a lot stronger as we see Farmingdale back on the offensive. They already won their first offensive round if you're just joining us. And look at this nice split push. You've got a couple that were trying to go B, a couple trying to go A, but Ferris State cutting them down, so that's new. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're off to a good defensive start for sure. Finally do have that kill advantage for the first time in this map. But the question is, how long are they going to be able to hang on to it? Because I know that this, yeah, you can see the streaks are starting to come in from Colorblind. That's going to be a big kill coming out on to Mc50. But I still got to say, Nikki West is currently six times negative. And that is never going to be a recipe for success as Hades is able to pick up two in the back lines and tie this thing up at 23 lives remaining apiece. Oh, man, you're right. This is looking a lot better for Ferris State Esports, though. So maybe they're making some internal changes in their communication and kind of running things a little bit different. But we're about to have that full capped A. And as I say that, Karaka, a nice two-piece to prevent that from happening. So that's going to go ahead and get some deterrence there. But as that happens, you see the Rams run over to B and get their first tick of progress with Colorblind finding a nice three-piece. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, if you just look up at the uh, the two circles, which are the objectives at the top of your <laughs> scoreboard, uh, one is going to be completed, and the other one is two-thirds completed, and there's still a minute 50 remaining on the board. I, I mean, I I'm going to be honest. Farmingdale, they are putting on a master class here and now. The St. Clair Saints, they're going to need to keep their eyes open. Go back and watch this VOD, because this roster in Farmingdale, they are putting on an absolute clinic here today. They are one tick of progress away from advancing to that final round and the last chance qualifiers and going up against the St. Clair State Saints again. But here's the deal. Can you hold on? You've got players, Mick 50 and Nikki holding on the back end. And then you've got the other two players trying to hold down the back end flank. But you see spades and colorblind looking to try and cut their way through while Hades just pushes in straight from the front and gets onto the site. Nikki, what are you doing? Got to be able to get him off. I mean, right now, Hades is it still able to fight his way through. And this is the thing. Three drop in. This should be it. This should be Farmingdale securing the 3-0. And that is exactly what we witnessed as Farmingdale, with a master class of a performance over Ferris State, are going to be sending them home, ending their season as they move on to the losers. Finals. Last chance qualifier finals. Like, my goodness. Woo! Here we go. It is happening. Let's see the stats and let's go ahead and get it broken down. Farmingdale coming out, not dropping any rounds of the search and destroy, not dropping any rounds in the control on Gavutu. And this is just textbook. So let's see it. Karaka out there, 1421, just a little bit. I want to look specifically on the offense and defense skills. You see that Ferris State kind of wavered in a couple, uh, but Farmingdale. 25 and 9 from spades colorblind 30 and 12 they just made it kind of look a little bit like team deathmatch to be fair yeah i mean they pretty much made every single mode whether it was search and destroy or control or or hard point it all seemed like just a big game of tdm for them out here in the field and i mean just a great showing coming out from this farmingdale roster as we stated i mean listen we don't want to you know, put the Ferris State boys down too much. But listen, I mean, this squad, as you stated, they've got to learn, come back better next year. It's just a learning process. I mean, at the end of the day, you pick up some wins, pick up some losses. That's just how a season goes. But you live to see another day. You live to see another season. So, I mean, best of luck to the Ferris State rosters. But listen, Farmingdale, they are looking like the real deal right now. Man, this last chance qualifier, we are seeing some gems of some teams come out for sure. Gems of the teams indeed, but hey, I mean the St. Clair Saints, they are going to meet Farmingdale once more and maybe Farmingdale can get some revenge on him, but let's be real. We have another match coming up. We got Johnson C. Smith University taking on the University of South Alabama and 
I'm a huge fan of JCSU. I've seen them do some work in the HBCU League for the COD, and I'm excited to see what they can do after this. So, guys, stick around. I mean, Rome, I'm going to be checking this one out. I'm going to be taking notes. I got to support Kreza, you know? Oh, yeah, big time. I mean, listen, it's going to be an absolute show. The third matchup of the night is going to be casted by McCornmeal and Cash. So we're going to be done here ourselves. I mean, for Spider Tip, for myself, we've had an absolute blast tonight. I mean, last chance qualifiers. It doesn't get any better than that in the CCL. So listen, you guys stay tuned. We'll be right back after this short break with our third and final match of the night. But for me and Spider Tip, we're signing out. We'll see you guys next time.